Cannabis Enthusiast. It's Corey with Corey Cooks Cannabis. Hi, y'all. If you're not feeling done, pick up your little astronaut. <laughs> How are you all? Mm, that's Slurricane. I really, really enjoy it. How are you guys? Again, I ask. I am opening up my Christmas gift. I showed you guys in the comments that I got one. I had to wait a few days because we had such a snowstorm. Um, mail was delayed, so my um, cannabis was delayed. And so I finally get to open it up and give you guys an honest opinion of what a magical butter machine is um, and does. Um, it is a brand name. It's called Magical Butter. Now, I am not endorsed by them. They are not paying me for uh, my review of this. This is just my honest review, whether you should get one if you're an enthusiast as, as much as myself. Um, so why don't we dive into it because there are so many different machines out on the market right now and this one is just an infuser. It isn't a uh, decarboxylator and an infuser together. It's not um, one of those machines. However, it infuses everything. I have read a little bit about it while I was waiting for my cannabis and I love that I could infuse milk, tinctures, butters, oils, um, all of that good stuff I can do in here, honey as well. So um, that excites me, especially the milk because milk is so finicky to do on, on the stove. You really have to be mindful of it. So if this simplifies doing milk, Oh my gosh, the recipes have just changed for the better. Um, cannabis whipping cream. Um, just imagine all the infusions you can do with that. Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm excited about that. So we'll just do it one step at a time. Um, today we're going to do it with butter. Let's, let's dive in and pull out what's in this uh, box we got. Uh, came with the little pouch. And this is where we're going to sift our cannabis through, our oils and our butters and all our mixtures. We're going to pour this so it catches all the herb for us. That is so nice. I like that idea. It's nice and thick, so it's really rugged. And I'm sure it'll wash up beautifully. It's a nice nylon material. I like that. It's nice and heavy duty. A uh, little cookbook. Uh, owner's manual and cookbook. Um, I have already peeked at this. I haven't tried it because I haven't had the cannabis to do it, but um, I have looked at the machine itself. Um, so it has magical butter tincture, uh, magical butter cooking oil. Um, what else? Concentrate. Oh, wow. You can just do a whole bunch of different stuff. Wow, we'll dive into that. We'll each week we'll do uh, something different. A uh, nice big uh, plastic glove. So as you're running that hot material through, you're not going to burn your hand. Very nice. <laughs> I like that magical butter on there. Very nice. All right, so that's what comes in the package. Let's pull everything out here. We'll take the box and we'll put it to the side. There we go. There we go. I haven't really pulled this apart yet, so let's see. Wow. Okay, the lid. Oh, it's just an it just magnetically goes on the lid. Very nice, very nice. The blade to uh, stir up the cannabis because you're gonna just dump the cannabis into the bottom here. The, uh, the decarboxylated, you wanna use decarboxylated cannabis. We're gonna put that in, this must be the heating rod. Very nice. 
All right, so let's dive into it. Oh, let's get that lid on there. Oh, here's the cord. Get this all plugged in. All right. Put it upside right, Corey. Goodness gracious. There we go. My counter is so small. Okay, so there we are. Now, I don't know if I can plug it in right here. I cannot plug it in right here. I need to plug it in over here. So, unfortunately, because my wish list for when I get my renovations, whenever that happens for me, is to have a beautiful island in my kitchen and plugins on my island so I can do things on my island and uh, not have to turn and use the counter over here and because I only have the one plug-in and then I have to run an extension cord because I only have the one plug-in. It's, you know, a whole mess. Anyway, guys, enough ramblings about my downfalls of my kitchen. Um, let's get back to this magical butter machine. We are going to do butter. So it calls for... Let's put this on. I hate wearing my glasses, but I can't see without them. Okay, so the butter recipe, Bell, the butter recipe calls for, that's tincture. No, we don't want tincture. Uh, magical butter. We want the cycle time, skill level is easy. Cycle time is two hours and approximately two to five cups. So we want a quarter to half an ounce, 14, seven to 14 grams of botanicals, they call it. We'll, we'll call it herb. We'll call it weed. We'll call it what it is. Um, this is uh, slurricane. That's what this is. We'll just call it slurricane. Um, per cup, 240 mils. So two to five cups of unsalted, softened, buttered for best results, use Clarified. Um, I don't know where to get Clarified, probably at the health food store. And if it's at the health food store and I, it's called Clarify and it's pure, I'm sure it's gonna be another four or $5 a pound. I am not making $10 a pound butter. Um, call me cheap. Weed is expensive as it is, right? Okay. Well, we understand that. So what we're gonna do is one tablespoon of lecithin. I forgot my, now they say to use sunflower lecithin, and uh, if I'm saying that correctly, but I use the soy um, because it is cheaper and I don't have a soy allergy. That's why they say to use the sunflower just in case somebody has the, an allergy. I do not. So I will use a tablespoon of lectifen. Okay. So how much weed do we want? There we go. I think that's good. I'm just gonna put this here for a minute. And we want, how strong do you want it guys? Um, I want to invest in one of those little um, THC readers. I just was reading about it um, the other day, actually the other day, holy cow on stone. Um, I was just reading about it this morning and it's kind of exciting because that way in the end result, when my butter is done, I can measure it to, to, to know exactly how much THC is in it. And that is a game changer. So that can really change and decide on how much um, product I'm going to use. Maybe maybe using that quarter of a cup of um, 
butter might have been better if I only used an eighth of, the, of a cup. And it's, it's, it feels better to know exactly what I'm giving. So I'm going to look into it. I might invest in it. It's, it's a pretty expensive gadget, but until then, I'm just going to go with the way, um, I know this, this uh, THC level is uh, based about 18 to 20 uh, milligrams. So that gives me a ballpark. Now, when you're using the machine, I believe it says that you don't have to grind up your, um, your uh, slurricane because the machine does it itself. So let's see, with chef notes, do not for best results, do not pre-grind. Adjust the botanical weight according to your personal preference. Okay. Do not pre-grind botanicals. There we go. For optimal extractions, maximum potency, based on extensive kitchen trials. No. Whatever. Place the ingredients into your magical butter ingredients. So there's no form, no way. Um, so how many? Two to five cups. Okay, this is two cups. So one pound of butter will do 14 grams. How does that sound? Now, do I just pop the whole thing in? See, there's no window. I can't. I can't see what's going on, so should I just pop the whole thing in or just chop it up? Well, there's the blade in there, right? Yeah, let's let's cut it up a little bit. Now let's, 14 grams, so we want 14 grams. Three, two, zero, one, 14 grams. Um, I have some cannabis here. Some already ground up decarboxylated. That's what I decarboxylated today. That's 10, 11. Um, how many grams did I want to do? 14? That's a lot. 11 grams is a lot. Um, what do you guys think? Should I go the full 14 for a pound? I'll do the full 14 for a pound. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put this off to the side for a minute. I've got carboxylated marijuana out of the way. Grab a knife and we'll just cut it up a little bit. Now this is just going to be a pound of butter. Put it in the machine. How exciting. Now remember a pound of butter you're not going to go through really fast. These kind of ingredients you can keep on hand for a while. And the great thing about butter is you can freeze it up to six months. They say forever, but I don't know. I would say six to a year. Then it, I, I believe the cannabinoids change and change in the, in the product itself. So I personally don't think more than, uh, a year in the freezer. I'm gonna just dump this lactothin in. Come on, off the thing. There we go. Get that. Now the soil lect the soil lect lect lectothin lect lect I don't know how to say it. S liquid soy lect less. Lecithin, less, less, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say, guys. Um, this helps emulsify it together. Now, as I was reading, as I was telling you guys just not long ago about that measuring thing, 
One thing it did say that um, it didn't account for was the lecithin that we put in it, or lecithin that we put into um, the, it can change the potency a little bit. That was really interesting when I read that. Okay, let's put some cannabis in here. All right, let's grab our lid. Now on the top, oh, squish it all down there. Get the lid on here nicely. Come on, there we go. There we go. Now on here on the top, it tells us, I have to tippy toe because I'm short. Uh, it tells us one hour for oil, two hours for butter, four hours for tincture, eight hours. I must be to your own discretion button. We'll learn about that button. And then uh, blend and clean button. Pretty awesome. We'll have to learn about that as well. All right. Let's take this on the maiden voyage. And we will be back in two hours. And we will complete the steps of draining our cannabis and our infused butter. All right, guys. I'm just going to pop this in and plug it in over here. Let it bleep, bleep, bleep. I don't know if it has to stop or set itself. Or do I just push the button now? Do you select temperature? Oh. What's the temperature? One hundred and sixty Fahrenheit. And now I hit two hours. Oh, look, it's starting to light up. So it's starting to work. Oh, I like the lights. The lights, the lights are uh, absolutely nothing but decorative. Let's see if we can turn off the, and see it a little better. That's pretty neat. All right, guys, we'll be back in two hours and uh, we'll do the next step with the new magical butter machine. I'm so excited. All right, guys, thanks, bye. All right, guys, we're back and uh, it's gone through a two hour cycle. Um, at least it's been two hours according to the clock. It hasn't beeped or anything and I don't know if it's supposed to beep. I read the instructions and it doesn't say whether it beeps or signals that it's at the end of the cycle. It just says, unplug it. Um, so I guess that is what I'm gonna do. It has been, like I said, it's been two hours. And so I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to take the lid off. We're going to rinse this off. We're not going to put it in the water. We're just going to rinse it. Okay. We'll put that there for a moment. And then we'll take a look at this inside and we'll just pour it into our mesh bag and our bag is going to collect all of our our herb our slurricane mmm all right I don't want to squeeze the bag because 
when you're squeezing out uh, the, uh, the cannabis, you don't want to get too much chloroform or chlorophyll, 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 which is going to put that bitter taste into your butter. I'm just going to let it sift through the bag itself. You don't really need the glove, but I guess if you were to wring it out right now, I'd want a glove to uh, wring it out, but I don't want to wring it out. I want to get as much of the butter out as possible without squeezing any of that chlorophyll out. It's not as messy as I thought it was going to be, which is awesome. Um, with pouring it in the bag and stuff, I thought it might get to be kind of messy. I can see when I squeeze this out, you can see some of the greener stuff coming out. Yeah, I don't want to squeeze too much of it. But we want all that buttery goodness. Okay. That's our infusion, guys. That is the magical butter unit. I tell you, it's a one pot cleanup. Um, is it easier than perhaps uh, on an all in one unit? Um, I don't see it not being. Um, it's just the all in one units is decarboxylate. I don't have to use the oven then. But other than that, for butter, I think it's a winner. Look at it. Looks very good. All right, guys. Um, that, again, is the magic butter. So I will use it again for oil. We will do that next. And then we will do some tincture in it next. I'm kind of leery about the tincture because it does heat it up. But we'll see how that goes as well. Anyway, guys, until the next time, please always remember, stay zen. Bye.